In this video, we're going to talk about the RMS value. When you look at a alternating current or an alternating source, we know that these uh, voltage and current values can do all kinds of funny things. And so it can be quite confusing to think about how much power that actually provides to a electrical component. And so we first understand the significance of why we need an RMS value. So RMS stands for root mean square. And you can think of that as an aggregated value. So it's one value to represent all the things that are going here, which makes it a little bit easier to comprehend or to quantify. And so, for example, if I had a DC of 5 volts and I have an AC of 5 volts RMS, we expect both of these, because of the same magnitudes, to dissipate the same amount of power if you pass it through the same resistor. And so think of an RMS value of an AC as something to uh, make it equivalent to a DC so that it makes your life a little bit easier when you try to analyze circuits uh, with an uh, alternating source. So how do we then calculate an RMS value? So here's an example of an alternating source. And I have a rule, right? When you think about RMS, think of it in reverse SMR. And so first of all, you need to square the entire uh, source pattern, okay? But what we're going to do, we're not going to square the whole thing. You actually only need to focus on one period. And so you can quite clearly see that's one period. So ignore all of this, okay? And we just square one of these periods. Oops, wrong color. Let's use black. And so here we have T. And this is going to be V squared. Now, when you square 3, you get 9. Okay, when you square minus 1, you get 1. And then when you square 0, you get 0. And so this is 4, 3, 2, 1. So that's step 1. Now, the next thing that you do, you take the mean of this. And so typically how you do that, okay, you take the area under this curve and you divide it by the period. And so the mean squared value, okay, will be, uh, let's do this over here, 9 times 2 plus, this is 1 times 1, and then that's all. And you're going to have to divide this by the period 4. And the last step, of course, is you root the entire thing. And so your RMS V for this particular curve will be as such. And so if you follow these steps, you will definitely be able to calculate the RMS values. So remember that this gives you some sort of an equivalent of a DC. And so, of course, that allows you to study circuits involving this source a lot more easily. 